Hello everybody, this is Coach D here with TackleTrading.com. I wanted to take a minute to give you a quick video on how to use the probability cone. And it's a really cool little indicator that you can use to help you project out the implication of volatility into the future and have a pretty good understanding of where the stock price is likely to be uh, out there in the future. So I'm going to go up here inside of the Thinkorswim platform and I'm going to add a probability of expiring cone. So I'm just going to search probability of expiring cone and there it is. And I'm going to add that probability of expiring cone. And the default setting here will put it out 100 days in the future and it uses a 68% 68% probability model. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the chart and you'll see this little cone pop up here. And what you'll see here is Caterpillar stock price has been kind of meandering all over the place and it's kind of consolidated in here and it's trading at 128.93. What this probability cone does is it gives you kind of a bell curve future forecast of where the data is likely to be out in the future. So for example, you come out here to this March 15th options date, and the expectation is that the price will be somewhere above 118.39 right here, and somewhere below 139.15 out there. So the idea is that the stock price will be somewhere in here. Now it doesn't predict up or down, it just predicts that the stock price is gonna be somewhere inside that cone based off of a 68% probability model. Now I'm going to go add a second probability of expiring cone here. Again, same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one on at, I'm going to change the settings on this one. I'm going to make this one an 80% probability cone so that it gives us a wider area of distribution. And I'm going to set that to blue so we can differentiate it and I'll apply that to the chart. And now we'll have two cones. And again, you don't always have to use two cones, but the idea is now you can see we're an 80% probability model. And again, for that same, you know, March expiration here, it says, hey, well, you know, for 80% probability, that'd be between 115.66 and 142.44. And that's based off of this current measure of implied volatility. Now, if that implied volatility measure started to rise, these two cones would move wider. And you'll notice as you go out further in time, as you get out here to May, you know, that cone gets quite a bit wider. And it's a direct forecasting tool based off of implied volatility. Traders like to use it primarily for helping them know where to sell options, how to sell out of the money options. It's always a good idea to sell them outside that cone. So if you wanted to do a naked put or a bull put credit spread, bear call credit spread, iron condor, it's always a good idea to sell strike prices outside that probability cone. Again, the 68% probability model is the default. Some traders like to go for that 80% probability to really go for high probability. You'll get lower rates of return, but higher probability of winning. It can also be helpful for helping you understand implication of risk and targeting and things of that nature as well. But that probability cone is a powerful tool. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you click like and subscribe. And of course, you know, come hang out with us over at TackleTrading.com. We have a 15-day free trial you can take advantage of if you're not. And uh, come become a, an, an active member of our community where you can learn all kinds of great stuff about trading and how to make money. We'll see you guys there.